Hello again and welcome back to Watch Me Learn Go, uh, which is a video series on me learning the Go programming language. This is episode two, uh, in which I will talk about uh, editors or IDEs for writing Go code. Uh, let's take a look here. If you go to uh, github.com slash golang slash go slash wiki slash IDEs and text editor plugins. Uh, I will post a link in the description below. Uh, on this page you can find a lot of uh, editors and plugins for um, text editors. Uh, and uh, we will eventually come to uh, install uh, the editor that I will use in the following vi videos. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Um, I've tried Atom for, uh, I've used it mostly for uh, web stuff, uh, HTML, JavaScript, CSS, that kind of stuff. They have a really nice plugin. Go Plus uh, that works really nicely, uh, so I can really recommend Atom. Uh, BB Edit haven't tried it. Brackets haven't tried that one either. Eclipse I've only used for Java back in school. Uh, apparently there's a plugin for Go. There's a plugin for everything for Eclipse. Uh, Emacs, of course, has an uh, has a Go mode. Uh, I've tried it, but I didn't really like it. Uh, I like Emacs. I use org mode at work for uh, keeping track of um, tasks and stuff. Um, but I didn't really uh, like the Go mode. But it's a matter of taste. Uh, get it. I probably have get it here. Yeah. I wonder if there is built in Cinta yeah. Huh. Well, it, it has uh, seems to have uh, seems to have uh, working syntax highlighting, and I suppose there is a plugin then that uh, does the formatting and stuff. Genie I've tried for web stuff and Python, but not really for Go. Um, well, as you can see there is a lot of stuff here. Uh, IntelliJ usually make really awesome IDs. I've used it for uh, Java. Uh, hmm. Light ID, I've tried that one. It was a really nice out of the box everything working experience um, but it's yeah i found a new favorite so i i don't use that one anymore sublime text in in my opinion there there is usually two camps one camp uses atom and the other camp uses sublime text at least when it comes to uh, more web centric stuff um, that's just the trend I've observed and there are a lot of stuff I haven't really heard about uh, Vim I've, I used I, I use Vim a lot I, I sort of go back and forth between between Vim and Emacs for uh, note taking and, and stuff um, 
the Vim Go plugin is really awesome and has a lot of followers and users. So I can really recommend that one too. Um, yeah, and here at the bottom bottom of this list we have the editor that we will install today, Visual Studio Code. Uh, I think it has some common ancestry with Atom. I think they use the same sort of underlying stuff. Electron can be that. So some kind of node JS written stuff if I'm not wrong. I, I can be completely off but that's a sidetrack anyways. Let's take a look at Visual Studio Code. This is the one we're going to install and I really love this one. It just works and works nicely. Uh, I'm running Ubuntu so I will click this deb package. Thanks for downloading VS Code for Linux. Okay. And they have this concept of extensions. Uh, and as you can see here, we have Go. Quite a lot of downloads. This type of file can harm your computer. Hmm. I don't mind some. Ah, I trust you. Come on. Did it launch? Ah, here we are. Here we go. Install. Super secret password. Come on. Installing. Installing. Okay, I think it's done now. Code. No. Ah, oh, there it is. Here we have it. It launches. And here are some intro videos. Blah, blah, blah. We're not interested in that right now. We are going to install the the extension for go and i think it's control shift p to show the i don't know what that is called let's see it is called co the command palette shift control p and then you can type x and you get suggestions for extensions and we go down to install extensions uh, and here we can search And we search for, ah, here we have Go. Rich Go language support for Visual Studio Code. And we want to install that one. And in the meantime, uh, okay. we will enable it in just a moment. If I remember correctly, there is some kind of we have to install some tools and stuff okay open your go path folder and subfolder you want to work on then open a go file and start editing you should see analysis tools missing Clicking this will offer to install all of the Go tooling needed for the extension to support its full feature set. So I suppose we will do that. First we enable. And then we can open our test program. Uh, 
Hello.go. Ah, here we have it. Analysis tools missing, and I click that one. Ah, we have some Go tools are missing. I suppose I didn't see that one as it came up first. Uh, we will. I think I'm going with that one. It fails. Ah, oh, missing git command. Okay. Um, if you remember the last video, I was, or maybe it was the episode zero, I can't remember. Um, I was talking about the go get command that goes out to GitHub and fetches, um, fetches code. Uh, this is what it's trying to do here, I think, uh, but it fails to check out. Um, ah, no mind. It, in order to download the code from GitHub, uh, you will need to install Git. So we have to do that. If you're running Windows, you probably just download an installer somewhere. Um, and I think if you're running, if you're using a Mac, it's something like this, but different. Um, I should probably take some time to set up this as well. I will only set up. Ah, uh, never mind. I don't need that right now. Uh, let's try it again. And we open the same file. Let's try that one this time. Installing 10 tools. Ah, looks better this time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm installing Go Tools. Oh yeah. Go code. Go PKGS. Go derf. Good lane. I don't really know what all these tools are, but I know that when they are installed, this stuff works really nicely. Mm hmm. Gore name. Go rename. Go. I'm gonna call it Gore name. Gore name, Gore turns, Go return. I'm gonna call it Go turn, Gore turns. That's better. That's much better. And I'm Swedish, so I can talk however I want. All tools successfully installed. You are ready to go. That sounds awesome. And I think that's all for this episode. Uh, because I have to figure out some awesome world changing program that we are going to write in the following episodes. Uh, or maybe just some lame, I don't know, something more advanced than hello world but something still uh, okay for for a newbie yeah i think that's it for now Bye.